G'day Ziggy D here, super psyched to continue my Baldur's Gate adventure with you guys. Zygmunt, you can stop singing now bro, it's a, not the right time or place, Imowen just died again. So at the very end of the last episode, we disabled a trap, blocking access to the next level of the Nashcore Mines. With Imowen, she disabled the trap successfully, and then uh, walked through and it turns out there was two other traps there. Holy crap, this game is brutal. So, you guys know the drill. I'm off back to town to res Emowyn, and then we'll come back. <laughs> I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, we're back. I swear I'm w wearing this little path between here and the uh, the temple where I'm resurrecting Emowyn. This is going to be a well-worn footpath. But, before we continue on through the doorway, let's just double check. There's no more traps here. Because there was three traps in one spot. I in no way ever expected that sort of thing. So, that's just unnecessarily harsh. But uh, I think we're safe now. <laughs> okay, so we'll go through. But we learned our lesson, and I know full well now not to uh, put, any, put anything past this game like that. So, we'll have our tank move up. It looks like we've just encountered a kobold at the start here. There's probably a group of kobolds, and uh, I'm actually not sure. We're actually pretty low on spells, so we're going to have to do this the old, the old fashioned way. But it looks like we've already got everyone set up with their ranged weapons. So we'll have these guys move forwards. We'll just make sure Zygmunt is singing. Okay, cool. We took him out pretty easily, but I'm uh, a little bit worried. It's a little bit a little bit strange for there just to be one there like that. I guess he's a bit of a scout or something like that. But I'm a bit worried that there's going to be some traps in this hallway here. Narrow sort of hallway is a little bit... A little bit nervous. Makes me a little bit nervous. This kind of looks like a, a chasm along here rather than a wall. It's interesting. Now, I, I don't see any traps, <laughs> so if we're trusting in her trap fighting ability, which you know has been has been okay, it's worked when I've used it correctly, then uh, I think we'll be okay to move forwards. <laughs> now, I'm very nervous but very eager to continue forwards in here and find out what, what we can about these Nashkul Mines. I think things are only going to get worse for me. So, ooh, a, uh, a rain has started out here, in outside in real life. Just setting the, uh, setting the scene a little bit more, I guess. The trickling of the water through here sounds a bit like rain, I guess. Okay, oh, we've seen two kobold archers. Okay, so we'll have Emowyn just pull back a little bit. Just, yeah, a few, a few back steps. <laughs> Someone in the comments of the last video said um, maybe Emowyn would find traps better if she wasn't walking backwards all the time. And, uh, yes, I do thoroughly agree with that. That <laughs> would probably be the case. Okay, so we've got some, uh... I haven't used Entangle in a while, actually. That could be fun. Maybe I'll like... Okay, so there there they are. Let's just come back a little bit. And let's cast Entangle up here. Oh, I hope she doesn't get shot. Oh god, they shoot her with a fire arrow. I might regret this. Okay, okay. Alright, Entangle's gone down. <laughs> okay, right back, to, right back to ranged attacks. We'll just have uh, Jahira and... Um, Minsk move forwards because they're uh, kind of a, they're our stronger, tougher ranged fighters. I'll actually have Imun kind of just move up to the north here to make sure there's no traps. Okay, it looks like one of them's been entangled. That's pretty good because that actually should uh, disrupt him from attacking us as well. Okay, let's take out this guy then. Oh, he's launching fire at us. That's very concerning. Uh, okay, so this guy's still able to fight, just not able to move with entangle. So entangle's not quite as good as sleep in terms of crowd control. If there's any melee ones there, it would have stopped them. Now we have sighted another enemy. We've got another ranged kobold just here. So, oh, nailed. Destroyed. Six six damage from Minsk there. Any other kobolds in that little area? Actually, oh, I got entangled by my own entangle. Oh, man. I thought I was still, I thought I was outside of the radius of it. Actually, I shouldn't be, like, heading out like that either because there could be traps along there. <laughs> Come on, come on, Minsk, get out of the entangle, bro. <laughs> okay, there we go, success. So, I'm gonna have Imon move cautiously to the north here. How are we looking on the map? This is a bit of a smaller map, actually. It's kind of metagame. It feels kind of metagame y, though, using a map like that. So, this is pretty clear along here. Maybe we'll head up to the north then while uh, Entangle's still going off there. I'm a bit worried, wondering why my um, party members are blue. Seems a bit unusual. 
Okay, just very cautiously still moving forwards. Kind of uh, heading all the way around this giant underground lake here. I might have to make camp soon, actually, to uh, get my spells back, especially if we if we come across something that's going to be very nasty. Because what have I actually got? I've got, you know, I've got some magic missiles from my wand here. I've used my entangle. I've still got a bless, which will help our party a little bit. But uh, that's pretty much it for spells. No more sleep or anything. Oh, what the hell is that? A grey ooze. Oh crap. I don't. I know. I know nothing about oozes. I suspect they'll be. Um, fairly resistant to physical attacks, so perhaps um, some magic missiles will be the way to go, but I don't really... Oh, okay. Alright, let's just move back a little bit here. We'll just have everyone hang out there, and we'll have uh, our tank and our spellcaster move forwards here. Okay. Now I'm going to have you cast a magic missile, and make sure our tank to get in front there, and then we'll have our ranged attackers get into position. Oh, the users it's kind of slow moving. Are we dealing? Oh, no, it shot it. Shot at Imuin. Crap, Imuin, get out of there. Oh, Imuin just took a massive hit. Okay, Imuin, get out of there. <laughs> oh, jeez. You're getting all the way back here. Zygmunt, you are singing. Good. Sing harder. Man, this thing's tough. This thing's super tough. Okay, it's near, near death, near death. Come on, finish it off, finish it off, finish it off. All right. <laughs> Man, oh, no, there's another shot coming. Oh, okay, we, it missed, it missed. 275 experience, pretty, pretty hefty. Man, Imwen took a serious blow there. We do actually have a heal, though, so we can pop that off. But, uh, oh, man, Imwen's taking such... Oh, she's <laughs> she's getting, destro getting destroyed. She's certainly earning her keep in the party, though. I'll give her that. She's certainly... She's paying off the uh, expenses of her reses, which I think, so far, she has a running total of 300 gold worth of, ex worth of reses. Not to mention the heals that usually come after that. Okay, so we've got another ooze. That's concerning to say the least. Okay, let's have our ranged attackers here. And we'll have another magic missile happen here. I feel like we can potentially... Oh, I don't know about getting this spell... I'm a bit nervous about getting this spellcaster in range now. Let's just see if we can pick it off with our ranged attackers here. We're doing doing pretty decent damage, and it's not quite hitting our, uh, not quite hitting Jahira. She's doing a good job of defending. And there we go. Okay, that was pretty successful. So uh, getting our stronger ranged fighters up there to fight those sorts of things is pretty pretty solid. I should still be moving forwards with trap fighting, actually. Though uh, this is more less of a cobalt area and more of an ooze area. Ah, okay. So this is actually the the the. Uh, the uh, travel to the next zone area. Okay, so we'll head head off down around here then and see what's over in this direction where we killed off these kobolds. Okay, I might actually make camp before heading out there. This is not the best location to be camping for sure. We'll have our tank. Uh, we'll have our tank move down here because we've already cleared out that side, but I don't really know where they might come from. How more? We'll have our more. Uh, Softer characters <laughs> huddle in the back here, and uh, let's let's camp let's camp out and try and get our spells back. You may not rest at this time. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure what's causing that. I guess we're gonna have to push onwards then, or retreat backwards and rest. Well, I'll I'll adventure forwards a little bit to see what we can find. Oh, there's a doorway in there. Okay. This might be like a kind of like a, a cobalt base or something in here. That'll be pretty interesting. Let's see what we can spy down in this direction though. Alright, we'll have the party move forwards. I wonder why I couldn't rest in here. Hmm. I'm sure I'll find out soon. Now this is a bit of a Oh crap! It's another ghoul, okay. Run back, run back, run back. Okay. You hang out there, Imon. Rest of the party move forwards. And we'll have our ranged characters engage. Now the ghoul doesn't have a ranged attack himself, I don't believe, so... We should be safe to engage with all of our ranged attackers here. No, but don't move forwards like that, are you, you idiots. Okay, that's good, that's good. We'll get you to move forwards. Uh, grab our tank to move forwards here and engage. Everyone attack. 
There we go. Oh, destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> and he's got some loot on him as well. Oh, a red ring. Is it magical? Just a bloodstone ring, so some more treasure for us. And there seems to be a lot of rats or something in here. Anything here? Okay. So just a ghoul hiding off in the corner there. So, can we camp here is the question. Let's have everyone sort of move in a bit, just in case. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, we can rest now. I guess just that ghoul was stopping us from resting, perhaps? Successful rest? Okay, we're all good. We've got our spells back and we're ready to head on. So, we have two directions to head off in. And uh, I actually might, I might just search out this loot first. Oh, gold. Good stuff. I think we'll go into this doorway first. I'm most curious about that. I'm not, not really sure what's going to be off in that other direction. Oh, more magical arrows. So these will be more f more fire arrows. So that kind of gives us an indication that those other arrows we found are probably fire arrows as well. Makes a lot of sense. So let's move into here. Oh, okay. Alright, so instantly two kobolds. And we're in an okay position here. All our guys are in their right position. Except for our Jahira is a little bit far back, but she's okay. So we'll just we'll just straight up engage here, I think. I think we'll have our tank move move up here. And we'll have the rest of our ranged characters just straight up engage these kobolds here. Oh crap, okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Kinda want everyone to stop actually there. They're not, not in the best position. We need a better line of sight. Okay. Can you guys attack? Actually, I kind of want M1 to move back a bit. Tank move forwards. Just a lot of shuffling around here trying to get the uh, optimal position. No, what are you doing? Fine, go into melee then. There's quite a few of them. M1, get go back to attacking. Are you guys attacking? Get into it, please. Okay, so we're going to have these guys just take on their own targets here. Oh, Mince just took a massive hit. Okay, where's Jahira? You were here. Does Mince have any potions on him? He does. Okay, I'm going to get him to drink this potion here. He should be able to do that in melee. Okay, hopefully. Alright, there we go. He, he gets healed. He's a bit. He's kind of out of combat for a second though while he heals up. What I might do is have Jahira move forwards a bit in case she does need to heal mid-combat. And she should still be able to attack from behind there. Alright, pretty successful. These guys, these guys, little kobolds, are pretty tough. They're take, taking a bit of a beating. Imun, keep attacking, keep attacking. Alright, cool. I, I'm liking this battle formation stuff that's going on here. Keep attacking. All of you guys, keep attacking. I did set up the AI, and it seems to be working sometimes, but yeah. This kobold's super agile. There we go. Okay. So this is kind of like that. Oh, there's another kobold. All right, just another normal kobold. Uh, these guys should be okay. Just to straight. Have you switched back to uh, ranged attacks? We'll have everyone engage here. Sigmund, actually, you're not singing, bro. You need to get singing. What is this? Oh, who's this? Zahn. Okay. What are you doing with the kobolds? Very suspicious. I'm sure, we'll be able to uh, investigate what's going on here in a moment. But uh, I'm still a bit paranoid about traps. <laughs> Even though this is like their living quarters and everything. Who's this guy? Mulahi. Mulahi. Okay. Just get our party together a bit. Nero, you stay back. We'll have our tank move forward to talk in case this guy decides to get hostile. Okay. Tazok must have dispatched you and my traitorous kobolds let you pass, didn't they? I knew I could not trust them. Armed as such, you have obviously been sent to kill me by Cyric. Not a measure of awe leaves these minds unspoiled. And I am still to be executed? I'll not lose my head over this. Hmm, okay, he seems to be a little bit confused. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yes, fool. Tuzok is most displeased with thee. Reveal your territory and mayhaps he will spare you. Uh, hmm, yes, okay. Yes, yes, uh, yes, what you said. Tuzok is unfair. I have no desire to cheat him or thee. My letters will show. They are in that chest. Take them. Take them and Tuzok will see. Okay, we've kind of talked our way into uh, getting some good information here, it seems. Let's have Zygmunt investigate. Actually. Actually. <laughs> is this chest trapped? I'm not going to put it past them. Okay. 
Fools, you'll never have the chance to take anything. Minions, come forth and kill your children. No! Ah, oh, this game, this game. I thought, you know, okay, I've opened the chest. We're going to be okay. Holy crap! Oh, sh Like, skeletons and kobolds and... Oh, man, and this guy as well. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, here's what we need to do. Here's what we need to do. Nira's gonna have to cast some sleep, but she's gonna have to get the hell out of there first. So, we'll have you switch over to melee. Uh, same here. This guy's gonna engage here. I'm gonna sing like crazy. <laughs> Imwen's, Imwen's okay. She can probably just ranged attack from here. And Nero, you're gonna have to come straight up here and then down here and get behind these guys. And we're gonna try and close off with the melee attacker here. So we're gonna do this. Whoop! Whoop. Nira. <laughs> Please, you can do this. You can do this, Nira. I don't know if this guy over here is hostile, so we're going to have to be cautious of that as well. Maybe if I... Maybe if I push... Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. Okay, Nira, move forwards, move forwards. Get in here, Nira. Oh, holy crap. Oh, this guy's ho these guys are hostile up here as well. Nira, you're going to have to move down here. Okay. You come over here and engage here. Uh, you just stay there for the moment. Oh, crap. This is not the best. Okay, we're going to have you cast Sleep in here. I don't know. I think uh, Sleep only targets hostile creatures in these particular zones. This guy's a spellcaster. You need to I thought I told you to engage. Get in there. Anyone keep attacking. Uh, okay, you guys are all engaged. Sleep, come on, sleep. Oh, okay. Go sleep, yes, go sleep. Khalid, save versus spell. Oh. <sighs> okay, so Mulahi is casting rigid thinking on Khalid. Khalid is saved. Our sleep goes off. Oh, heaps of them. Yes, I think we've got a few of them. Skeletons, I think, are immune to sleep, though, so that's not going to help us. But uh, you, you guys need to engage the ones that are still up. Keep engaging these spell casters here. Imuin. Do your best. We're gonna have Nira come all the way down here. This is this is hairy. This is super nasty. Okay, cast your spell here. Okay, Jahira auto. Okay, Jahira's killed her target. Okay, good stuff. Ah, uh, this is no, this is not good. These two are gonna have to fight off all of these. Ah, uh, this one. And these, these guys are wailing on our tank here. It's going to be a little bit nasty. Imwen, keep doing your thing. No, 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 don't. Im uh, Nero, you're supposed to be casting a spell. Get some chromatic orb action happening. Yes! I think we interrupted him. Okay. Well, it's Khalid's been hit, so... He's, he's like, yeah, he's taking a bit of damage off this skeleton here, so we're going to have to get him to move in. Sigmund, I think you're probably... I would, I'm tempted to get him in, to engage this spellcaster here. He's only barely injured still, but um, I think he's probably doing more good boosting everyone else around him. So we're gonna we're gonna go for a magic missile on this guy. Imon, you just keep doing your thing. You're doing well. Uh, I think we need to have the engage engage this skeleton if possible. And can you get up there? You can't. You can't actually get up there. So you're gonna have to carve through the sleeping one. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, now you go. You engage the one behind you. Oh, crit destroyed. Okay, Mulahi's spell failed, casting failure. Yes. Okay, we've interrupted him again. Yes, destroying the skeleton there. Finish off this kobold. Oh yes, this is going. Okay, we're we're, we're gonna make it through this. Yes, destroying, destroying. Do it. Yes. Get him, get him. Come on. He's injured, he's injured. Okay, what's going on? Jahira's target's gone. You attack this skeleton, you attack this skeleton. These guys are carving up. Look at these pile of dead bodies. This is insane. Okay, uh, Nero, I'm going to get you to use your final guy, because this guy's still alive. He's pretty tough. Okay, going all right. Oh, another spell. Another spell goes off. What is it? What is it? Hold person on Khalid. Okay, Khalid's been, been held. He can't do anything. He's out of the fight now. Imwen, you keep shooting. Keep shooting. I hope you're getting some back attack bonuses happening. You guys finish. Okay, there's only there's actually there's only one target here, so we're gonna have you move up here. 
you can handle that one skeleton. Man, that sleep was clutch. That made such a big... Oh, is he casted in, in Tangle here? I yield! I yield! Accept my surrender. Hmm. You die here today, foul beast. After that, you would not accept my surrender. Your heart is the deepest black. I think not. I think I would destroy you for what you have tried to do to us and our party members. In fact... Let's do this. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got still got some guys to deal with that. You go back to singing for now. Imwen, get in the ranged attack there. Such treachery cannot be so easily be forgiven, I think. Man, he's <laughs> he's caused some mayhem with that uh Only one damage to the skeleton with arrows. He's caused some mayhem with that entangle. Oh. Oh, man. That was intense. Let's see if we can get everyone out of this <laughs> entangle area. <laughs> oh. Whew. Okay. Well, Imuen, we'll get you to search the chest then. Which I hope is not trapped, honestly. Okay, we've got some, we've got some a magical short sword in here. Ooh. Some potions. Potion of Absorption, 790 gold, holy crap. Tons of spells, which uh, Zygmunt can actually learn some spells now, I've been told. And a Moonblade, plus three. What on earth? This potent weapon was created by Smiths of Ancient Myth, Draenor. Moonblades are used in the long process of selecting a ruler for the Isle of Evermeet. A Moonblade chooses its owner, and in this case, the sword has been... It has chosen the elf of Zahn. Only Zahn can use this blade. Anyone who else who tries to will, will find themselves unable to lift it. This particular moon blade gives resistance to fire and a bonus to the user's armor class. So this one's bound to Zahn. I'm guessing that means none of us will be able to use it. Although, although, hmm. <laughs> okay, this blade resists. Any, what does it say? Ah. This blade resists any attempt at using it. Likely it is attuned to its owner, and none other could wield it. The hilt bells the name Zahn. Okay. So, I don't wonder if we'll be able to sell that at least. I care not. But we got some uh, pretty nice loot from here. What do we get in terms of spells? Charm Person. Armor. Infravision. Another sleep spell. Web. And Identify. Nice stuff. Maybe our, uh, we'll be able to fill out some of our, our spell book a little bit with some of these. As soon as these entangles gone, we'll be able to uh, make a move on. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, okay, here we go. Now, there's quite a bit of loot here to be had. Oh, we've got some magical boots, yes. And a magical ring. And uh, this looks like a large shield. What's this? Muhali's holy symbol. So he was some form of cleric, it appears. And he's got some letters on him as well, which sh should provide some answers. And just a morning star. Oh! Hmm, so by keeping him alive, we may have been able to get some more information from him. But, uh, you know, I felt I did what I felt like we would have done in that situation. Some chainmail as well could be handy. I don't know if any players need any upgrades. I think we're mostly kitted up. But some more gold in here. This guy might yield some answers, so we'll be able to talk to him in a moment. But let's do, let's finish off our looting first, because... Look at all this loot. <laughs> that was insanity. Anything over here? Some more gold. Very nice. And I think that's about it. So let's have everyone move out over here then. There's nothing else in there, is there? No. Zygmunt, take point on this one. What? This is Zahn. Oh, okay. Oh, this is Zahn's sword, who we just we just found his sword. Right, okay. The other guy we killed was not Zahn, that was the other guy. Okay, I, I, I get it now, I get it. At last I am free of my dreary prison. Five and eighty days are far too long. Wow. 
for one of the fair folk to live as a dwarf. You look no better off than I, but my appreciation for the liberty bids me add my spells to your cause. I am Zahn. Shall we face the impossible together? Hmm, having another spellcaster join our ranks could be pretty handy, but who would we sacrifice for them? I, I feel like we can't really sacrifice Khalid. He also comes with Jahira, and Jahira has proven to be very, very helpful, both as a healer, uh, as a, you know, a, a caster with her entangles, but also as an extremely good and potent ranged fighter. Imuin, obviously, obviously, is, plays a crucial role. Uh, Minsk is very is a very powerful ranged and melee fighter. He he doesn't he doesn't have exceptional utility roles, but he's a, he's a great all round fighter. So he's probably the only one I would consider subbing out. But he's also very entertaining as well, so that's worth considering. I don't know what sort of uh, caster Zan is. Hmm. <laughs> Without you to bring them down. Hmm. How did you come to be trapped in such an inhospitable place? Alas, I was sent to investigate the strange going on, goings on about this area, and I landed caged, seemingly hopeless, for weeks on ends. I have not seen the sun almost as long as I have not seen my home. Hmm. <laughs> bit harsh, bit harsh. It's hard enough trying to keep our hopes up without you to bring them down. I'd rather you didn't join us. That's... Why Why are these only harsh answers? Oh, is there more? No, there's not more. How effective can you be if you were captured by this lot? There is no need to be rude. I will go back to my home in Everesca and leave you to your hopeless quest. Well, sorry, Zahn, but... <laughs> I don't know. I felt like the, uh, the choices were a little bit limited there in what I could say. Didn't really reflect what my character would have been. I would have probably probed a bit more about uh, what he can do. I guess that question, my response there is somewhat in that regard, but uh, a little bit harsher than I probably would have said things myself. I am a, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a bard. I'm a skull. I'm supposed to be pretty good with my tongue. So, but uh, yeah, nothing there. All right, so looks like we've cleared out this particular area. There's still that one other direction to head off into in the uh, mines here in the mines of Nashkel, but that fight was intense. That fight was insane, and uh, also insanely fun. So I think. I think this is a good point to take a little bit of a break. Yes, yes. But we will head off over to the right-hand side there, I think. I don't know what's over there, if it's just going to leave the mines or if there's more going on in there. But uh, we'll, we'll soon find out. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed that last fight. That was, ins that was probably the most insane fight we've had so far. Very entertaining. And that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.